What's up, what's up, Hot Wheels and diecast enthusiasts? Uh, it's been a little while since I've made a video. Um, I've got some stuff ready to go uh, to open up to show you. Um, and uh, I guess I got a bunch of stuff in and found a bunch of stuff. So we're just going to go with it. Um, so I'm going to start off with some Zamax. Um, they've changed up how they're doing Zamax um, with Walmart this year. Normally, you get three in a mix, and now they're going down to two. So, like, what are these? These are... B, so starting with B, every other mix technically for Walmart. So B, D, F, H, K, M, P should all have two Zamax in them. So I guess we don't know how many they're going to put out. Normally they put out 18 in a year, but if they do those, it's going to be like 12. I think, instead of 18. So we're going to go in order. So this is the first one. This is the Pagani Wyra Roadster in a Zamac. <clears throat> Which this is super cool. I do like Zamacs. I have all of them so far. Um, I don't have all of the, so they did do Zamax initially for Toys R Us with their first editions one year. You could get them exclusively at Toys R Us. Uh, and then there were some convention models that were limited to 500 a piece. But now they're Walmart and every so often there'll be a car that comes out with the Zamax. I don't have all of those way back when, but I have all the Walmart ones and all of the mail-in ones and then a couple other ones. Here's number two it is a 70s van with this kind of word hunt, word search livery on it. Blacked out rims looks cool. I wonder if it should have been chrome. That would have been Maybe cool chrome base, Zamac body, and then murdered out rims. But they don't ask me, right? The third one for the year is the Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. I wonder if it's always going to say Matt and Debbie Hayes on it, even though they've started changing the color. There's probably some licensing agreement that they have to do it for a couple years so this was what initially in pink and then in white or something it's cool casting and they're definitely finding um ways to use less metal with all this plastic body cladding and the whole rear being plastic the headlights being part of the window piece happening more and more. But for this one, it's okay. It works. It's cool. And the big one that everyone's looking for is the Cool Combi Moon Eyes Livery. This is interesting. It's got a white base. Yellow rims, yellow windows. Trying to see what that little, I can't quite tell what that little logo is. Thirtieth anniversary of Moon Eyes. No, it can't be. Moon Eyes has been around longer than that. Well, I don't know. Cool. So that is those. 
um, I did get a couple new to me castings. Um, the first one was the 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock. So my area has been kind of, this is an international card, so I don't know what mix it is, and I don't remember from watching the videos. My area has been kind of dry, and then, like, my Walmart just got more A cases, and Target just is remodeling, so they put out, like, a dump bin that even had, like, QK stuff in it from last year. Um, so, new stuff is few and far between as far as main lines go, which tends to happen around this time of year. And then we end up, like, skipping cases or something. And then, like, later on I'll find everything at, like, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, if I actually go out and look. This is cool. I like the, I like the deco. We haven't seen this casting in a while. Uh, it does say 2022, so they must have really redesigned this one from the one. But this did come out in the Flying Customs line. Um, maybe it had a metal base. I don't know. Surprised it doesn't have both copyright dates on there. And I don't remember if this hood scoop was part of the window piece then. I would have to go back and look. Um, I also, like in pictures, I didn't like this, um, but then when I saw it in the store, I said, eh, why not? Um, this is F case. So, I guess my target did get F case. I was just very late. Or they didn't, like, this target, like, doesn't always put out, like, a full case. Like, it's, it's weird what they do, but this is a Pinaferina Batista, which is, I think, really based on a Ferrari. And then also, F-Case, here's the Lotus Amira. This is the regular version to the Super, which is cool. So the Super has the 10 spoke rims and a dark cherry red. It's cool that they textured the window piece. It's got the taillights, it's got the headlights. They did a good job on it. I don't mind those wheels on it. I actually like those wheels under the right conditions and even liked them when they did them as the faster than ever. Um, found some Ultra Hots. Um, so these, this is the set. Um, so I got all of the ones that I wanted, except for the Fair Lady and the Porsche. A buddy of mine picked up the Porsche, but so I'm still looking for that, for that Fair Lady. So, 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. <coughs> This is, what, number two of eight? I'm not going in order. And this is like a Spectra Flame Black. It's got like a purple sheen to it. I really like the Spectra Flame Black. I kind of like these decos on the side, even though it's not like my typical. But what's really cool is that these guys have full detail. So they've got taillights. They've got headlights. They look good. So, um, yeah, I'm totally cool with these. We've got the 64 Chevy Chevelle. This is number one. That one was number two. So this is number one. Two, one. Da, 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 da. I do kind of like this casting, even though it is a little, like, I don't know, it seems like a little, a little bit tuned. That, that engine is a little oversized, but look, they still got headlight detail, even on the chrome piece. They got taillights on there. Like, this is a little acetone to take off those, uh, the garish 
stripes and this thing would be sweet. Um, I just noticed that the front and rear wheels are different. That's pretty funny. Guess they must have not had any any like this with the ultra hot rims. And if I look at the what did I just do with the I was gonna look at the card that I just opened up, but I don't know where it went. Eh. Not a big deal. Here we go. Here's number three. I love the pink on this. Dodge Demon. Definitely cool. Stripes a little more subtle. They did put the... They could have used those wheels. But it's got front and rear. Totally good with this. Here we have a Zamac Custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. So that's super cool. Don't mind the colors on that. Hot pink windows are a little, but, but it is a Zamac. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put it over here with the other ones. Look at that. Um, here's number four, the 71 Roadrunner, and the Antifreeze, also one of my favorite Spectroflame colors. I think people are really digging these because they're Spectroflame. Here they did another one with the front and rear, rear wheels being different. It's kind of weird. These do, these need wheel swaps front and rear details, which, speaking of which, um, I got a couple packs of these, so I might be doing some wheel swaps. So, there's that. Uh, and then here is number five. So, which one did I not want? Um, Chevelle, Barracuda, Demon, Roadrunner. The Falcon, the square back. This is the Falcon. So, I did get the first six, and I just haven't found the other two. So, I, I do have all these. And look, they did the same thing on this, and it's on the card. That's what I was looking for. And I picked up this card on purpose. That was all folded like this, because I knew I was going to open it. Um, instead of buying the pristine card, because I knew someone... And this is a cool color, too. And you got full front and rear detail. And they even stamped it on the plastic, which is cool. These are cool. I hope they do these for a while. And maybe, maybe they do like, like just, just, just make them like super treasure hunts. Just really super treasure hunts, like in a normal mainline type thing. That's what we want. We want Spectra Flame paint. Realistic, that goes. Front and rear detail. Real rider tires. And just make a line. Make them six bucks a piece. We'll buy them. They'll be cool. No chases. Forget chases. Just make them all a chase. We'll buy it. Um, I did get a couple of these. Uh, I found these on eBay. Um, I used to get these as a kid. I had a bunch at one point in time. A long time ago... And uh, I thought these were cool. I'm a Jeep guy. Um, so these were originally 48 cents back in whenever these were. What are these? 1981. Um, and these are like begging to be out of these. These cards aren't great. Um, look at that. Um, these were kind of cool. They, like, most of them were, like, you know, a generic version of, a of a normal casting. Um, but they came with license plates. 
and you could get you could if you could find them from a license plate from wherever you were and i think one day it would be really cool to have this one is from utah it would be really cool to have a complete set of these like mint or near mint what they even did a pass on the piece that's in the rear um so maybe maybe one day i'll try to finish off that collection all right and i've got some um older main lines i think these are all older yes just filling in some spots so i'm gonna push this stuff back and make some room um so I've got uh, some older stuff that I pulled out of my collection that I'm willing to set free to put into my loose collection as I kind of try to make more room in my life. Um, so this is the uh, 70 Chevelle, uh, Chevy Chevelle SS. Um, was new for 2013. This is one of my favorite castings. Um, I've got every version. This is the first version that came out. Um, and then there was another version that was basically like the color swap version of this. So it's red with uh, black, still Edelbrock. And it was a Toys R Us exclusive. And at one point in time, it was hard to find. It was super expensive. Um, and I bought one of those. Uh, but I'm not quite to the point to open it yet because it was a hefty price tag. I think they've come down since then. Um, maybe if I find one loose, maybe I'll buy a loose one. But, um, so this is the first edition of the 70 Chevy Chevelle wide body in black Edelbrock minty blister pull pretty cool and then it came out in 2014 in a summit purple summit livery and it was also a super treasure hunt this year in this purple um, i have the super treasure hunt but i don't have it loose and I'm not to the point where I'm opening my older Super Treasure Hunts. So, and it's more of a Spectre Flame. This is more of metallic. But yeah, so that's cool. That's a cool version. And then there was this version. And I think 2015... I think this one was a, uh, well, I can't remember. So there's these two colors that came out. Um, and I think one, I, I think it's a screen one. I could be wrong, but I think this is the K-Day version. And this is the regular version. Um, but regardless of which version is which, it is a pretty cool. You can always do like a, NASCAR inspired racing livery on this one. I think so far my least favorite has been the the newest one, which was in like a maroon with like a the same color cream, almost greeny. It was kind of just okay. I didn't like the color combination on it so much. This one's pretty dope. Pretty dope. The midnight blue metallic 454. This one was a well done casting. I don't remember who designed it. I like the exhaust breakout, like little notch right there. That's pretty cool. And then chrome interior to give you chrome front and rear. So that one's cool. Um, I've got this beat up, beat up card for the Corvette Stingray. This casting has been around forever, since the early 80s. Um, 
let's see, does it say? It just says 2015. This has that that gray metal base, or a gray plastic base, I mean, kind of to look like metal, but you can see it's plastic. This thing used to be a metal on metal. They even did some 4 by 4 versions of it. There's no door lines, no nothing. But... That one's all right. Pretty cool. We'll put that in the collection. And we got some more Corvettes. This was a Target series. Different times that they've played with the retro. Target likes the retro right now. So this is currently this series. So, but this looks cool. as like a track day Corvette. This Corvette casting has been around also for a really long time. This blister doesn't want to open. Look at this. It's fighting. It's fighting. She used to have an opening hood. It doesn't anymore. Tail lights are part of the interior. Um, I want to say it had a two color interior at one point in time. This one does get a metal base. And then regular five spoke wheels, but it does look like something that you'd find like at a track day, like an amateur track day. That's pretty cool. We'll put that there. Oh, look at this 1999 firing final run. Um, this is probably one of the probably the first one, first final run that I've ever opened. So, um, Mattel used to retire their castings. After so long, I think they even used to do like a vote, which which castings should we retire and get rid of, kind of a thing. And they would they would do a special edition. They'd go out with a bang. So here you go. Here's a final run. It's got a final run logo on there. And then they destroyed the tool, never to make it again. So if they want to make something like this, they're going to have to design it from scratch and probably change it up a little bit. But it got full detail. Like look at that. It's got uh, rear. It's got sides, it's got uh, stuff on the front, it's got deck on the top, metallic paint, and then it's got two-piece uh, two piece wheels. So these aren't real riders, they're plastic wheels, but they are two-piece, so that, that gold part is a uh, insert. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And that Corvette looks good with some ground effects. This is the 2011 Corvette Grand Sport. This came out in 2016, and this was a regular treasure hunt. So, there you go. This treasure hunt car is hard to find and highly collectible. Collect all 15. So that's different verbiage than what they have used currently. But this is kind of cool. It's not very, well, they've done it more and more so lately that they're using realistic castings for their treasure, for their regular treasure hunts. Which is really the only regular treasure hunts that I collect. So. Almost looks like the taillights are done with the type of paint that they used. Pretty cool. All right. I've got some Dotsons, Dotson 510 wagons. Um, so this was uh, 2014. So this is the first year that it was in the main line, but it was in the Boulevard series first. Is that kind of pale seafoam green, which is why it doesn't say new model on this. But this was also a super treasure hunt this year, which is highly sought after now. Um, but, uh, yeah, it goes for good, good money. And this, the regular version is, I don't know, probably also 10 or $15. These are much more common though. And I didn't have an open one in my collection. Look at that.
and it's got the smooth gr or the textured grill. There's also a smooth grill, so I guess an error in the tooling or something. There's also like a couple different bases, I think. Like people just go crazy over these. Um, I'm not worried about all of that stuff. Uh, I think, yeah, this one was a K-Day. The black with the metallic green. This one also has a textured grill. I like that Datsun logo on the hood, on the back back there. And the yellow version from the same year. I have all of the mainline and basic versions of this casting. There's a couple RLC casts, RLC versions that I don't have. I do like those OH5 with the white lips. Um, and I just like, there's a couple of them. I mean, there's a, the, First time it was used in a convention, that thing is crazy price. Um, and then there is a Mexico, Brazil version that I just don't like. There's a more recent convention version that I just didn't like. Um, and then, of course, there's the Japan convention Moon Eyes, which um, I didn't like that it was different on both sides. But it is what it is. So, there's some Datsuns. I have this 67 Camaro in the Summit livery. This was uh, from 2013, 2012 copyright date. And this was a super treasure hunt in this uh, livery. So this is the regular version of that. Which means that if you have that super treasure hunt, you it has an opening hood, right? Yep. Opening a hood, super treasure hunt. Look, there's the overspray. So that's cool to have. I dig that. I'll, I don't have that super treasure hunt, so I'll have to get that someday. Um, one casting that I am stoked about. This is 2011 new model. This is a 69 Shelby GT500. It's a convertible version. I wish they'd do... A uh, hardtop version of this, but that's okay. If it has stripes on the hood, it's actually a 70. 69s did not have stripes on the hood. The 70s did. Um, otherwise, they were exactly the same. And this is a super treasure hunt this year, but in purple. I don't have the main line um, of that one yet, but I do have a couple of versions of this. And there was one multi-pack version, which I have loose in my collection as well. But I've got the taillights and the side stripes. And it says GT500 all the way in that little front bit. And a roll bar. It's pretty cool. Front detail's not there, but it is okay. Also, it came in light blue, the white stripe. White with the blue stripe would be an awesome version of this, too. Or there was a, there's a jade green with gold stripe. That would be super cool. Um, I do wish it had the front spoiler, and that front chin is way up off the ground on this uh, model, I'm sure, for track. But... And then here is the third version, black with white trim. All getting added. And it still gets the taillights. Look at that. All right, cool. A um, couple more cars to open. 
One of this is uh, also 2011. This is the A-Team van, so the GMC Vandura. But they did it in an A-Team livery. And maybe they did this as a premium or as a Comic-Con. I think they did it as a Comic-Con. And then it has not been done as the A-Team van since. And I used to love the A-Team as a kid. No taillights. Got the GMC logo on the front, um, but uh, yeah, look sunroof. Yeah, this thing is cool, 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 cool. Side pipes. Look at that. Eighty-four GMC panel van is the official official name of the casting, and then this has Fox, which I guess who currently owns the rights to the A team. Put that guy right back there. Um, here's something fun. The what a drag. Why are you opening a non-licensed casting? Well, it is and it isn't. Um, 1998 first edition. This only came out like a couple times. It did come out in Boulevard as a premium. But if you look really closely... That front, and this is actually based on a real car, um, believe it or not, but that front little cab right there is actually based on a BMW Isetta where the front door, the front is the door to get in and out of a, this micro car. And someone built one that looks a lot like this. You can look it up. Um, and so because of that little BMW Isetta that's on there, I do dig this casting, and I collect it. Um, am I trying to get every version of it? No, but um, I had it. So, I'm going to collect it. I also have this version of the Panos GTR1. This is a cool car. This is 2009 version. I do like this car. Kind of racing esque Hot Wheels. This is this qualifies as a Hot Wheels livery, doesn't it? The blue Hot Wheels blue race team. So that's cool. Keeping on the A team theme or TV theme. Here's Knight Rider kit, which is. Um, I think this this castings is not just a uh, Firebird. This is exclusively kit, maybe because it's got that spot for that. The wheels look good. Look the blacked out, and then the tail light license plate, and then look at that. Look at the interior. There's deco for the. Dashboard. How cool is that? So the dashboard got some detail. Pretty cool. That's a pretty cool version. And put that guy back there. Two cars left. Subaru Brat. To avoid the chicken tax. Import pickup truck, but put seats in the back. So it's not a pickup truck, it's a passenger vehicle. This was a K-Day exclusive in this color. It was from 2015. In this pearl yellow. So that's super cool. I like it a lot. And the last one to open for today is the Toyota 2000 GT. I love this casting. This is from 2013. Um, and this one was a Super Treasure Hunt this year. And it was interesting because the Super Treasure Hunts have a metal base. Because initially they had cast up a bunch of metal bases apparently to use in a vintage racing type line. 
or uh, something premium and it got canceled and they had all these metal bases so they used them on the super treasure hunts of this version but this is the non super treasure hunt version in red the front grill is part of the window piece and this is a super cool car also there was like the rlc shelby version which might also have been like part of that and then they switched to rlc at last minute i don't know i don't know 100 percent, but anyway so those are the cars for today uh tell me which one is your favorite give me a comment like this video and we'll talk to you next time appreciate it bye